Now, let's talk about uh, the relevant information for decision making with a focus on operational decisions and optimal use of limited resource. What we have been uh, talking about uh, has been just uh, the, the relevant information regarding uh, the cost, avoidable cost or unavoidable cost, relevant cost or irrelevant cost. But now we have to also focus on the limiting of factors, the scarce resources. Under these scarce resources, uh, everything can be changed because that is the highest uh, the cost rate where we need to meet or we, that, that restricts our decision making. So the, the example is the Nike case. Nike produces the air court tennis shoes and the air max running shoes. And assume that a one factory is the only facility. We have a limited source of the facility that produces the shoes and the Nike managers must decide how many shoes of each type of, to produce. Which one is more profitable? Always, when you take a consider the profitability is the, the top uh, the criteria. So the selling price per pair of air court is 80, and then it has the less, the, the variable cost per pair is 60, but air max is, is more expensive. The selling price per pair is 120, but the variable cost definitely the expensive with the material cost, expensive material cost. Then let's calculate contribution margin uh, per pair. Like we always calculate it like this. So 20 and 36, but we should calculate the contribution margin as a ratio so that we can identify which one is greater because we haven't considered the volume yet. So, right. Uh, as much as uh, the air max produce more uh, contribution margin, uh, the air max also will make the contribution margin ratio higher than uh, the air court. So we can make a cons make a, uh, the decision or we are focusing on producing this air max. But if we have uh, the additional information uh, with some resources, limited resources in time, now, uh, in question, the machine time is the measure of capacity in this factory, and there is a maximum of 10,000 hours of uh, machine time. Now, this facility can only produce uh, this, uh, the, the, the air court or the air max with the limited time, 10,000 hours. And the, and, and, and the factory can produce 10 pairs of air court shoes or five pairs of air max shoes because that takes longer uh, the procedure or assembly procedures to make one pair of shoes. And in one hour of machine time, every hour, the factory can produce 10 pairs of air port or the five pairs of air, uh, air max shoes. So uh, with the additional information, which one is more profitable? So let's retrieve this information of the, uh, the contribution margin per pair uh, from what we calculated before. And then pairs of sh shoes from 10,000 uh, hours, 10,000 hours. Then we have the information here. Every hour we can produce 10 pairs of air court shoes. So 10 times how many hours? 10 hours. So we can produce 100,000 pairs of shoes uh, from uh, 10,000 hours uh, for air court. Then what if we produce only air max? So five pairs of air max for 100, uh, 10,000 hours. So we can produce 50,000 pairs of the air max shoes uh, from 10 hour, 10,000 10, hours, machine hours. Then let's calculate contribution margin uh, from 10 hour a capacity, we can just multiple 20 times 100,000 shoes. So we make contribution margin of from 10,000 hour capacity $2 million in the same way, in the same way, oops. We can make a contribution margin 
1.8 billion for Air Max. But you should remember, you should remember that, you should remember that how much, how much is the contribution margin per machine hour? We put the same number of hours of the machine time when we produce the Air Accord or Air Max. So 2 million divided by 100, oh, sorry, 10,000 hours. And then we make $200 contribution margin per machine hour. Also the same way, 10,000. So now we have totally different outcomes. Without this additional information of time limit, we may produce uh, the air max because that has higher contribution margin ratio. But under this uh, the limited time, we can make the air court $200 per one hour, per machine hour. So definitely the higher than the air max, we have to choose this, choose producing air court. Okay, so like it is under this limiting a factor uh, of the scarce resources, we may uh, result in a different uh, the decision. Now part two, that is independent case. What about the inventory turnover? Inventory turnover also uh, is very important uh, the decision making process to or make, a, make, make a decision of optimal use of limited uh, resources because under these limited resources, how many times we can turn, make it turn over that makes our decision different, right? So the regular department store and discount department store, we want to compare uh, which one uh, make more contribution margin and then we will focus on one of the stores. Regular department store and discount department store are selling the same product and taking up the same amount of space with the following information. Okay, we have the same time and same uh, the, the space uh, selling the same product. But a regular department store has sold 10,000 units and discount store sold two times, five times, two times, 2.5 times more unit of products because they are selling less price like here, like 10% discount, for example. And then uh, the regular department, uh, and then which department store is making more profit? So let's calculate the contribution margin per unit first. Then you may find, okay, the regular department store is definitely high, has a higher contribution margin than discount a department store's contribution margin because it sells higher than uh, the, the discount price. Then contribution margin in percentage also is higher than the other. Then units sold per year. Now, do you see 10,000 units, 10,000 units per year, but two times, 2.5 times. So that is the inventory turnover. So 10,000 this unit sold per year and discount department store is 10,000 times 2.5 times. Okay, then let's apply total contribution margin. Total contribution margin in dollar, assuming the same space allotment in both, uh, the both uh, stores. So $1 per unit for the contribution margin times unit number of units sold then $10,000 and the other one is 12,000 because even though the discount department store produce the lower contribution margin per unit of 50 cents, he can sell more uh, the, the, the product to 2.5 times than, uh, more than uh, the regular department store. That's why uh, many uh, department store uh, actually run their discount uh, department store as well. Okay, so see you in the next video clip. Bye-bye.